Good evening YouTube. How you doing? It's time for an update on the TiVo Tornado. It's week three. Uh, right now, the Tornado, I am printing a Y mount for the NEMA stepper motor that will secure the back end of the motor to the frame. Um, and rather than wrap around the motor, which is another style I found, but that, that one hits the sled for the heat bed, this one actually screws to the screw holes in the back of the NEMA stepper motor. So that's what I'm printing now. I don't know that I need it, but that's what I'm printing. Uh, other things I've recently printed, I was printing a bunch of parts for the, uh, I did print this cool little tool caddy to hold my stuff. I had some uh, Y-axis shift in the middle of it and that led me to experimenting actually doing a little reading and reading someone's comments and then experimenting with changing acceleration and travel jerk both way down compared to where Cura had them and when I did that it seemed to make a big difference no more shift I haven't had a single shift of anything at all and the quality is amazing I printed this base Now it has a little salmon skin effect on it, which is a byproduct of the uh, 4982 stepper driver that TiVo has integrated into the motherboard. Um, some of that can be negated with TL smoothers. I have a set of them sitting over here on the other desk that I haven't installed yet. But, I mean, look at, you can see the circular lines from the salmon skin, but you almost can't see the layer lines. It's a really, really nice print. It's absolutely the nicest print the Tornado's given me, with the exception of the salmon skin. Um, but I'm really happy with it. That was after, again, some tweaks to the slicer settings. So, made a huge, huge difference. Quick update on this one. Still down. Replacement nozzles didn't fit. Didn't bottom out properly in the heating block. Because it didn't bottom out properly in the heating block, it wouldn't tighten the heating block. So that one's down, although I've been printing bits for it. Oh, here's something I just printed for the Tornado. It's actually on the wrong desk. This is an adjustable Z-stop mount. It goes right there. It replaces that factory plate with this. And when you put a screw and nut in here and you turn this handle, it will actually lift up and rise got quite a bit about an inch of travel so you can adjust the height of your Z stop Z end stop just by cranking the little knob that's in here it goes in there it popped out there we go just by turning that knob very nice design uh, I found it on Thingiverse I will link to that design for anyone that's interested it's a CR 10 design that works fine on the tornado I tried another couple parts that I printed out, was hopeful they were going to work out of the Tornado. This is one of them. This is a filament, uh, optical filament out sensor that's made, was designed to go on a TiVo Titan extruder. So it was close, except the Titan extruder on the Tornado is not mounted in the exact same way as the Titan extruder is mounted on a Tarantula, which this guy designed this for, so this part won't work. But I'm definitely looking for optical filament out end stops. I am not planning to tie them into Marlin or the motherboard. I'm planning to use the OctoPie for that. So I'm going to tie that end stop, that filament out end stop into the OctoPie and have the OctoPie just pause print. Anyhow, last but not least, I'll give you a little sneak peek of this goodie I have coming, which will be a video in the next couple of days. That's the Ender 2 that I've been waiting on, mentioned a couple of times in the discussion section. Uh, have heard nothing but amazing things about it, and since heard a bunch of new ones that are even... I mean, a guy selling his brand new unopened Tornado to buy two more Ender 2s. And he already has two Ender 2s. Pretty much saying if he ever needs any 3D printer again, he'll buy nothing but Ender 2s. Because the quality is so amazing due to the low mass of the moving parts so i can't wait to open this thing up and set it up um that's again planned for probably saturday you know when i can film it properly etc 
So, everybody, thank you for tuning in. Uh, again, three-week review, Tebow Tornado. It is a winner. Still a winner. I've had one failed print since the last video. A single failed print. I tweaked the bed level. Uh, I've got it printing, again, better than ever. Really, really, really happy with it. Uh, the GearBest Tebow Tornado, uh, GearBest because I paid 309 through GearBest for it, is an absolute winner. So I advise everybody to snatch one up at a sale price, of course. I wouldn't, wouldn't pay full price for it. But it's a winner. All right, everybody. Thank you very much for tuning in. Have a great night. Bye.